Please welcome to the stage, Trisha Shetty. They said I have four minutes to address you all before my time runs out. That's fine because we're all running out of time anyway. In 2015, world leaders made a bold commitment by adopting the Sustainable Development Goals, and we all made a pledge to leave no one behind. But let's be honest, we're all failing. We're in the midst of the sixth mass extinction with over 200 species going extinct every day. I'm a social activist and I work a lot in the women's rights and gender-based violence space. About three years ago, my team and I brought in the new year with a grieving father whose daughter had been kidnapped and he just got a call to let him know that they found her chopped up body on a terrace. For the last two years, I know of a family that's fighting for justice for their daughter who was raped and burnt alive. We know that we're losing too many lives to violence, to discrimination, to inaction. And if this is the collective legacy that we're going to leave behind, we should all be ashamed. So to put it simply to the world leaders who continue to fail us, step up or step aside. Yes. 2020 is a critical year for us. We must mobilize our communities. We must commit to radical change. We must commit to solutions. We must hold ourselves accountable to hold our world leaders accountable. What does that look like, you may ask? We have a decade for delivery, and young people are already leading this change. Over 200 young people wrote an open letter asking for a clear vision of 2020 from their world leaders, telling them to turn words and commitments into action and accountability under the banner of the SDGs. We are in the midst of crisis. I, for one, do not want to be receiving any more calls from fathers who've lost their children to abuse. Young people should not have to skip school to fight for their rights, not just for their rights, but for the rights of the most vulnerable and marginalized communities who we know will bear the biggest cost of the climate crisis. And speaking of crisis, watch out. This week, a lot of young world leaders will come to New York and make grand promises and commitments and go back home as though it's business as usual. It is on us to treat 2020 as a year, as the decade of delivery, to keep the pressure on them, just like we did take to the streets in momentous numbers, and let them know that we are going to hold them accountable to deliver for us. And if you're looking for inspiration as to what's your role in this movement, here's a video for you. Raise your hands if you've been affected directly by violence or know someone who's been affected by violence. Raise your hand if you're worried about the climate crisis, not just affecting you and your community. Raise your hand if you're tired and frustrated and believe that we are heading towards doomsday if we're not there already. This should not be the future we're passing on to our kids. This should not be normal. So the legacy that I implore we leave behind is a legacy where we commit to action, to delivery, we will commit to change, and that is the legacy we will leave behind as a collective group. Thank you all so much.